Most of the times, traumatic brain injury is mild, but sometimes the injury is more serious and it is accompanied by hemorrhage in the head. A hemorrhage is a flow of blood outside the natural circulation. The blood can be found in different places in the head. Let me explain. There may be a skull fracture that bleeds and forms a collection of blood directly beneath the skull, but above the outer layer of the meninges, called the dura. Such a hemorrhage is called an epidural or extradural hematoma. If the fracture tore an artery instead of small veins, blood can accumulate quickly. This growing collection of blood pushes on the brain and can cause death if it is not drained quickly. Patients with epidural hematoma are said to talk and die. Fortunately, when the hematoma is operated fast enough, the patient's recovery may be complete. Much more frequently, hemorrhage is found just below the dura, and this is called a subdural hematoma. It is usually small veins that bleed. The subdural hematoma can also push on the brain, but it grows a little more slowly than epidural hematoma. Third, and the brain itself can bleed following a direct blow or because it moves inside the head following a shock. This type of hemorrhage is called contrecoup. Such bleeding occurs most often on the surface of the frontal or temporal lobes. Finally, the bleeding can also be found in the deep structures of the brain. It is generally significant impacts that cause this kind of injury such as a car accident at high speed. Patients are often in a coma immediately after the accident and may remain so for a long time. It is therefore important to differentiate types of intracranial hemorrhage because treatments may differ depending on the case. Thank you.